I bought these a while ago and there was mentions of uh, the one in this listing being fake versus what is supposed to be real and there's been multiple mentions of a red ring but I wasn't quite sure what was going on. I accidentally ruined a set of these ones from Amazon so I decided to open it up and try to figure out what the difference is that keeps getting mentioned. These are real. These are from a local hobby shop. The first thing that's very obvious is look at the the color. See how vibrant that red is? And this one's kind of mixed. This is a real one. This is an authentic one straight out of the package. There's like arm attack or something like that that makes them. So things to look for to see if they're real or fake. A, that color should be completely stand out. Vibrant, not vibrant. Secondary to that, inside of here, you can see that little lip right in the middle of the length. You can see it uh, just above my fingernail there. There's a little lip in the male side. Well, technically it's the female side, but in the, the pin. And now inside of a real one, it does not have that. It's just straight up. Now, the biggest thing, which has been mentioned, the red ring, this is the barrel out of the female side. Now, if you look inside of this barrel, there is nothing in here. It's just straight brass. If you look inside the real one, you see that red ring right there. That is a very important ring. What happens is this pin over here connects when you plug it in. However, this first half of the ring over here has the resistor connection. So that resistor bleeds the spark away before it makes a full connection at the second part of the brass section. So as you plug it in, it touches this first ring to start moving current, and then after that, when you plug it the rest of the way in, it's already, you know, it won't do a big spark. These fake ones do not have that. So when you plug it in, yeah, it's got the resistor in it, which to be fair, if you look in here, uh, maybe it was on the other side, I'm not sure where it went, but it didn't look like much of a resistor, like a quarter watt resistor, maybe. So I'd say it's still sparking, you just can't really tell. But that is definitely something to look out for. That is a, a rather important feature. These were $11 at a hobby shop. Uh, hobby Town USA had it. I would definitely recommend these for sure. Like I said, I didn't understand what they were talking about with the red ring thing because I had only seen these fake ones. But uh, that red ring right there is very important so that it discharges it. It'll also be that way if you plug this connector in halfway, you don't fully seat it. You'll actually only get that 5.1 ohm resistor. You can see right there, 5.1 ohm. You'll only get 5.1 ohm resistor limited power to whatever device you have it on until you fully click it. This fake one, on the other hand, if you partially click it, you'll get full power. So definitely watch out for that.